know what you're thinking, but this is a different red sweatshirt. So the weather being what it is today, um, I decided to go back over all the lists I had created for boat projects for the winter and the spring and the summer. The lists are long. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of items on the list. Trying to prioritize things is sort of tough. And I miss being able to just run into a store to pick up little doodads that I need along the, along the way. Having to think about things ahead of time and plan purchases and have things ordered and sent uh, really slows the process down. So I'm not feeling very productive at the end of the weekend, I look back and say I, that I should have been able to do a lot more um, in that amount of time. So it's a readjustment. It's a trying to plan better, uh, be less spontaneous about the projects. And another thing I'm going to miss is usually when it comes time for the sanding of the bottom of the boat for the application of of anti-fouling paint. Usually I get a lot of help for that from my kids and my son-in-law, but um, basically everybody's holed up in their own little silo. I mean, maybe they could help with that sort of thing if we, you know, I'll do work inside and they do work outside or something like that. I think what I need to do before I go any further is really make a shopping list of everything I'm going to need for every project so that I can try to get stuff on its way to me so that whenever I need to move on to another task, I can I'll always have something. I wish I thought of that earlier. I was contacted by the marina that um, the boat is stored at right now. They are setting up launch dates. Um, they are doing it by phone or email this year and posting the schedule or the openings in the schedule on their uh, web page. In the past, there was a big board in, the, um, in their store and we'd go in and look for an open slot and just pencil our names in. But with the store being closed, they had to think of something else. And I was happy to hear that as of right now, they're planning to launch boats. They've already started and I um, hope that continues. The ladder was putting small scratch marks in the aluminum trim so I rigged up a little pad to use. So no power for five days to the batteries and you can see what kind of state they're in just after that short period of time. I'll run the charger all day and see how it affects it. Another $10 worth of LED bulbs. This time I got four. Um, I have to go back and look to make sure that I got the same order from the same company. Um, someone else actually placed the order for me, so I can't be sure. But anyway, four is more than I need if they all work. O oh for one. So I tested all four bulbs, two work and two don't. When you're labeling a cardboard box with some spare parts or something, it's really best to just label it everywhere if you can. It only takes an extra minute. And then when it's sitting in the shelf and things are bounced around and it's upside down, you, you don't have to pick it up, twist it around to find the right side that's labeled. It's just, uh, just a tip of convenience. Clean up the old sealant. 
put the new stuff on. I imagine this is boring to watch. It's kind of boring to do also. find something to clean that with. So I did some reading on the back of here <clears throat> and it's a caulking, it's paintable, needs mineral spirits to clean up your tools. So it's not uh, easy clean up necessarily. And um, I think it's the wrong stuff for this job. I did find this in my cupboard. Um, it's it's a uh, caulking with some adhesive, which might be good for this application with the sink. So I think I'm gonna go with this instead. And by the way, don't take my advice on any of this stuff. I'm an expert in nothing. It's kind of like decorating a cake. the water soluble stuff because I get it over everything and until it dries. So uh, it was easy to get around under there when I had the pump out. Now that the pump is in very hard time maneuvering in there. It's all my feel. I can't stick my head in there. Oh, I lose this round. I think I can use this thing. Maybe on the one that's already in there. Already, already threw it on. Tighten this one down. It's this one I'm in trouble with. I have to weight this down. I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. I'm gonna try again in here. Yeah, that drain will. Oh! I have to go searching for the nut. Good for looking around corners, so to speak. Okay, I can't get to it. So, what do I do now? Hmm. This stuff is gonna dry. I think what I gotta do is weight this down. Weight it all down right now. gallon of motor oil. It's a good weight for that side. I need to tighten this down again. <laughs> now the weight's overpowering that. Okay, I think it's 
it held down as well as I can get it. I still have this this nut is on on the bolt and tightened up. This one still isn't. I gotta get a new a new nut for there. So I'm not gonna touch this now. It's a drain. We still have to do the drain piece, but there's no point in doing it now. Let's let this get this settled first. Um, we'll go on from there. Okay. So, where to go? Well, this connector was in there. And I tried to get it twisted properly in the hose so that it'll be at the right angle when I go to put it to the um, sink drain but I want to have it out here to tighten up the hose clamps so a nice double clamping job double hose clamp put this ring back on nice and loose. Now let's go fit it to the sink. This angle looks pretty good. Let's just screw this on. Let's see if it lies flat. Yep, it does. And any slight variation when we tighten up that clamp below that, that black uh, ring, um, threaded ring, pull that in nice and tight. So for right now, take this off again, and push that through, get that out of there, clean up this rim a little more, and then we can uh, apply the caulking and set it. No way I'm getting a wrench in there. There's no room to no room to spin a wrench in there. I'm gonna have to do the best I can with my fingers. Okay, and we're gonna hope that the the caulking and the pressure enough to seal that. I can see through the plastic, I can see where the caulking is, looks pretty good. Wipe away some of the excess. Okay, look pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna leave the weights on. I'm just gonna leave, the, I'm just gonna leave them on. So it takes 90 minutes to dry. I don't know if I'll be here in 90 minutes, so I'm just going to leave the weights on and then um, it'll be dry at some point before I want to test it. I don't want to test it this weekend anyway, so I want to give it a lot of time to dry. So after about four hours of charging, let's see how they test out now. So battery two is still working out better, but uh, they'll do until uh, we need to replace them for lunch. After the snowstorm yesterday, it's amazing how beautiful it was today. Well, that's weather in New England.
Look what I found. This beauty is going home with me.